All right. So I'm gonna take care of a little honey harvesting here. I have a feeling I waited a little long and didn't add enough boxes. They're a little crowded, so I'll probably be able to pull one, two, three, maybe four boxes off of this guy. And um, one, two, three, four, maybe three or four off of that guy, maybe five, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we'll see. This is kind of what I'm gonna use is this this fume board here, I'll remove the top, use a little bit of smoke, remove the top of those boxes, the inner cover, and then I'll use Fisher's Be Quick, shake this up, spray a healthy amount all over the inside here. I'm gonna let this sit in the sun, and get warm so it'll radiate that scent down. Unfortunately, my hives aren't in the sun, that would be a little bit more helpful. But I'm just gonna lay this in the grass over there. Let it get nice and warm before I add the bee quick. Ooh. I'll just lay it right here. All right, all suited up here. Grab a little extra board so I can set the full boxes on here and not the grass. All right, let's get this smoker lit here and get going. Everyone kind of does this a little differently, but uh, I put a little paper towel on the bottom and then light it. See if I can do it with one hand. Ouch. So it's kind of wet there. I'll give it a little puff. And we didn't want to go for these pine needles here. It's so tough with one hand. Get a little going in there, give it a puff. Keep it going and then I push it down. Keep puffing. That's a good sound. Might have to go to two hands here in a second so I can pack it in. Let's see. Okay. We won't need, need much smoke for this. job I've ever done. There we go. Okay, I'll pack it down using one of my knife tools. Maybe put a little bit more in there. All right. There we go. Now we're going to put some of this bee quick on the felt side. It's getting warm here. So I just smoked the colony lightly. And while that's settling in, I'm going to put lots of be quick in here, shake it up. Okay. I just took the top off of this colony and it looks like they got lots of capped honey in here. I'm going to grab this box. So we're going to set that, set this right on top here. And we're gonna let it sit for about 10 minutes. So I already applied the bee quick there. We're just gonna slide that right on top here. And let it sit. And that'll move the bees down about a box or two at a time. I'll remove a box, take it over, put it in my garage, and then uh, grab the next one. I'll, I'll just keep moving it down. And the way I've learned to drink beer. It's been about five minutes, so we're gonna check this top box. When I remove this, since it's not in the sun, a lot may fly out the top, but this box overall should be relatively empty. So here we go, let's see what happens. As I suspected, there's still bees up here, but it looks like they're leaving. Let's take this box. 
So that works really well. As you can see, there's very few bees in here and I can just take them over, shake them off before I take them yeah, in. Let's check the second box now. It's probably gonna be pretty, pretty crazy in here. Let's see. Not too bad. Let's take this box too. Didn't use a queen excluder this year and so I got some beautiful shaped uh, brood and uh, the supers here. But yeah, I'm filling up this tote with the full frames of uh, honey. We'll see what happens. Pulling out some frames of honey though. But yeah, there's a beautiful target pattern. Brood. So the first colony, <laughs> she basically had brood all the way up. So that's one reason to use a queen excluder, folks. Um, so I pulled off about two boxes and then tried to condense some of the brood down. Did all the management that I am aware of doing at this point. But uh, I think I got like two and a two and a half boxes of honey off of that guy. I was hoping to get a little bit more like three to four, but uh, it is what it is. Um, so now I'm working on this, this other colony here, just gave him a little bit of smoke. And uh, hopefully things look better in here where the queen didn't lay all the way on up. That would be good. So stay tuned. So far this looked a little better in the top box when I took it off, but I did get a sting on my fingertip here. Um, so I put the the fume board on top to try to push them down rather than to try to take looks at it. So we're just going to push them down and and hope for the best. Hope it looks better than colony one. That's for sure. The second colony seems to be doing well. This uh, middle box is... This, mo this box here, the second one I took off, is completely full of beautiful, beautifully capped honey. Look at that. Very heavy box. Nice light color. Third box down. Third box down is all beautiful honey. Yeah, just methodically uh, moving the fume board down a little bit at a time, watching the bees' behavior to make sure I'm not overdoing it. And then grabbing a box, looking to see what's in there, and then putting it in the garage for extraction later. So hopefully there's another box or two on here. Honey. So this is the next box down. And this is all honey too. So we're doing good today so far. All right. So far I'm happy with the quantity and quality of this, this honey from these bees. Doing well so far. Probably five boxes full. We're still going. So we got several boxes off of this colony. Uh, that one was like, the top box was like mostly uncapped nectar. And there was some brood in the middle of this guy. So I imagine there's brood all the way down. So I'm leaving it. I'll push them down at the end of the season to three boxes. Uh, this box, I'm going to try to grab a couple frames out of it. Uh, it was a swarm from earlier, but I think they're producing. And I'm going to do the same with this colony. The one in the middle, I'm leaving alone. That's the weakest one. So I'm going to just let it go. But this is a very strong swarm that I think the second box is all honey and the third box is probably all honey. So I'm going to take a look, grab what I can. So far, this looks very good. Promising. I'm going to pull out a frame and see if it's capped honey all the way in the middle. And then I'll probably try to take the whole box. Decided to leave colony number three alone. I, as I opened it up, there's uh, lots of brood in the middle of the top box. So we're just going to leave them with what they have and uh, move on and see what we got here. This is colony number three and this looks to be all honey at least in this top box i'm probably going to take this so we're going to put the fume board on and see what yeah so i only took two frames out of the top box of that there's lots of healthy brood all the way up through the colony and uh i think that's all we're going to do for today yeah i took two frames and then put two new frames in there on the top so yeah we gotta let's go see what we got so today's haul looks like two five almost six supers uh, full of honey so all right so the next now the the work begins here here we go this honey is going to be very high quality you can see how light it is got more than last spring so i think i had like three of these totes last spring which was probably about 24 frames Probably got nearly double that this time around, which is good, because this is good quality honey. Can't wait. So I did get stung a few times today. I didn't wear gloves. Um, not that it would have mattered, but I I got one on the bed of my nail here, 
one on the knuckle, one in my thumb, one on the palm of my hand, and I think I got one in my middle finger knuckle too. Looks kind of funny. So I think four or five in my left hand. I think that's it though. I didn't. I don't think I got stung anywhere else. Just my left hand, uh, and it was from two different colonies. So I don't know. I think I'm gonna start attacking this though, and see if I can get it all taken care of this evening, so the family can do something tomorrow. Here's our extractor. Three frame, hand crank, it's gonna take forever and bolted it to this thing so uh, I can hold it a little steady. Uh, it's, a, it's a bear. And then uh, got a, a knife for uncapping and uh, also uncapping fork. So I'll put a radio in here. I'll try to set up the camera and here we go. Here we go, the first little bit getting filtered through the thing. This is a little more golden than I was expecting. But it still looks delicious. Last spring it was like crystal clear. This looks really nice though. Bottles a nice rinse, and then I'll put them on this bottling rack and let them dry completely before I start filling them with honey. And then uh, I put uh, lots of the jars in the dishwasher with the lids. cleaned and drying on this rack we want to let them sit at least overnight they have to be completely dry you don't want any water in your honey otherwise it'll ferment so wait till your bottles are completely dry 